part of the country we are more engaged with the technical part and at the most if we go out it is up to the personality part of the student but this is something which is connecting with the spirit of the person and i am very very much hopeful that uh, this is something which uh, will give definitely to all the listeners uh, those who are all joining uh, for this wonderful webinar uh, that they will be opening up their one uh, such kind of uh, side of their personality which can help them in very long run uh, not taking much time sir uh, welcoming you once again a very warm welcome uh, from uh, all of uh, uh, the faculty at uh, shanti lal shanjini college uh, thank you sir my pleasure that uh, you are here thank you yeah thank you. uh thank you thank you very much sir for giving such a nice uh what can say speech over here and now i would like to request uh, our uh, jani sir professor mp jani sir to introduce our uh, today's uh, speaker uh, professor putendra dave jani sir please uh, uh welcome principal sir and other sir and uh, thank you principal sir for your inspiring work now i would like to introduce uh, today's speaker uh, bhupendra dave sir uh, sir is uh, associate with the maharashtra indonesian university uh, for many years he was uh, he was honored with the maharashtra award for the demonstrating potential for the success in year 2007 and uh, he was associate with social and academic activities in andabad in 2002 uh uh some more, some more uh, i want to give some more uh introductory introductory uh, idea about uh, he is that he was interviewed by uh, opera winfrey he is one of the well known personality in the Amer american television industry uh sir is also uh, sir is also participated in the world association of vedic science studies 2014 at usa uh, uh actually uh, uh sir is born in bhavnagar that is a matter of pride for all of us now i would not waste much time and i would like to uh uh, uh request dave sir to continue his session please sir uh, thank you uh, principal uh, mangal ji and jani ji and all the team uh, for inviting me uh it's a, it's a magical for me today because uh, i am talking to the intellectual okay so um, uh, as Mang uh, mangal sir uh, uh, pointed out it's a new subject uh, it's really a new subject uh, because the uh, maharishi mahesh yogi he was a scientist and he is known as the vigyanik sant and he brought this knowledge to the world from the holy traditions that is the guru guru parampara of uh, our ved and uh, vedic literature and uh, brought this knowledge before the world but as he was a scientist he thought this knowledge should be validated to the scientific approach so that the coming generation uh, believe in it and uh, implement it so that was one of the reason he do, he did that and we'll we'll cover this point uh, in detail in the coming discussion now i'll start with uh, what is life and what is the purpose of life Maharishi Mahesh Yogi in his book Science of Being and Art of Living he says life is the light of god life is the flow of divinity flow of love happiness intelligence creativity and purity because its essential nature of life is unboundedness unbounded like ocean when we talk about ocean let me say when we go to the when we go very deep at the bottom of the ocean the water is is cool if we come little forward to another level it is little warmer but at each level 
water becomes warmer, 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 and on the surface, it is the greatest. So, but water is the same. Water doesn't change. Just the temperature at each level changes. So, what I mean to say that in our life, we express different aspects of our life at different levels. Just like we, we, we express uh, understand, understanding, we express creativity, we express peace, we express harmony, sometimes anger also, sometimes no mood also, good mood also. So all these are different aspects of our life, but we are the same. So these different levels of understandings are different aspects of our life. As we, we see, uh, water is made of two gases, hydrogen and oxygen. When, when water freezes to ice, uh, it, 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 uh, it, from uh, liquidity, it, it transforms to solidity. From transparency, it, it transforms to opacity. But the constituent, main constituent of water Hydrogen and oxygen remain the same. The same way our life is the same. We are the same, but we radiate different aspects at different times. We have three aspects of our body, our life. One is physical body. Second is inner body. Inner body is made up of uh, three, as four aspects. Man, buddhi, hankar, mind, ego, intellect, intellect, and prana. And the third aspect is transcendental aspect, that is chetana. So these three, three aspects make our body. And what is, the, what is the purpose of our life? Our purpose of life, if I say in one sentence, it is just the expression of happiness, bliss, that is the purpose of life, nothing else than that. And life is not to be lived in dullness, idleness or suffering, we are, it's not meant for that. And because life is dynamic, not static. It's a stream of progress, development. And through activities and improvements, we go on. And activities maintain the stream of our progress. And our nervous system is the vehicle. So human nervous system is the complete nervous system amongst all animals. And therefore, I once again say the purpose of our life is to live with un unlimited energy, intelligence, power, creativity, bliss, and absoluteness. Nothing else than that. As Taitari uh, Upanishad says, out of bliss we are born, we are sustained in bliss, and we go in bliss. But unfortunately today, we have so much tensions in our life and these tensions blocks our progress. But uh, in uh, Adi Shankaracharya showed us, <clears throat> Adi Shankaracharya showed us some uh, wonderful treasures we have. And those treasures we have those treasures with us. Cham, dam, uparati, pitiksha, tadda, samadha, this is discipline in the mind, discipline in the senses, vivek, discrimination, endurance, faith, mental equilibrium. 
and then the research has identified uh, five aspects how re how well rested we are how well we eat how physically active we are and how moderate we are and very important and our focus of attention of this discussion today is how we how we think so moderation what is moderation moderation is the medium point between deficiency and excess and uh, i would give you last little story uh, when atal bihari bajpai became the foreign minister first time in 1977 in morarji desai government some reporters asked him uh aap rus ki aur jhukenge ya america ki aur jhukenge bajpai ji replied hum khade rahenge dono hamari aur jhukenge so this is moderation when we stick with what we are then everybody would bow down to us and how we think that is very important because for other other points we have been taught many times in childhood ratre vela je suve vela uthe bi aam te but bo up apne kaun che experts uh, according to jim bagnola he wrote a book how to be a human how how, how to be a professional human being he wrote a wonderful book and uh, in his in this book he says that 78% of our thoughts are unproductive baseless dysfunctional and negative and this prohibits our progress and development and achievement in our life so he said we have to turn our thinking upside down he doesn't say that we don't think so negative thoughts no it's going to come but we have to we have to turn our thinking upside down in the sense <clears throat> in the sense that uh as we have to change our perception as morari bapu says drashti badlo duniya badlai jase the same thing we have to change perception and who is responsible for our thinking our self not not i mean no, nobody else is responsible just we are responsible and each thought is made up of words and we think about 500 to 1200 thoughts per minute when we are in waking state but can we ask ourselves can do we speak that much no we just speak about 120 to 150 words per minute then it's a vast difference so then to whom we are talking to we are talking to ourselves this this chat line between me and myself is always busy and this chat line is our mental operating system and it affects our progress and improvement the most important i impact of my behavior is so much on me rather than on others that we have to understand and apne to mane khabar che when we were i was in 8th or 9th grade there was a question who manvi manav thau to ghanu vichar vistar karo we were taught but still after many years we have to think twice what we should do 
I read one book of Dr. Jitendra Adhya, and he said, we all are in jail, prison. The audience was stunned that he, when he asked it, after the jail machine. Then he said, we are in the prison of our beliefs, after manyata of the jail machine. We have to come out of it. And in one book of uh, uh, Don, Don Miguel reads of four agreements. He said there are four agreements. First agreement, be impeccable with your words, that you use the nice words. Why we should use nice words? Because word is power. And uh, words come from the mind. And the mind is like fertile land. Whatever we just plant, it comes up. Because I'm talking to the professors and teach, uh, students mainly. I'll give you one little story that uh, uh, there were two, three teachers because the principal had some surgery of hernia and they wanted to go to see him. There was one biology teacher also with them. And biology teacher during the conversation with principal said, oh, you have hernia, hernia operation? Mm -hmm. Hernia is a very small part. In the short note, we have just three marks short not in the exam, it's very small part. He's educated. He knows he should he should he should know because he's talking to somebody and he has gone to 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 see somebody when he, he was sick. But we don't do that. We have to use the correct words. And second, that don't don't think personally. When you think personally, then the garbage comes on you of the others. And third aspect is very important. Don't make assumptions. Don't act on assumptions. We do so much. And there is one very nice example of one managing director of a very big company. It was, a, it was his precedent that he used to invite when somebody is hired on a very high position in his team, he would personally give appointment letters. So one guy was selected, the whole process was passed, was through by the human resource department. And this guy was invited by the managing director for a lunch. After the lunch, managing director did not give him the appointment letter. And he said, I'm not giving you. I mean, he didn't give him, but then he called the meeting of human resource the people that I, I did not give him the appointment letter because when we ordered soup, he started sprinkling. He didn't taste it. Without testing, he, he, he started sprinkling the salt. The salt itself was more, he, it was sufficient salt, even though he started. So I think he has a tendency to act on assumptions and I don't want anybody on the higher position to, to, to act on assumptions when he is at the job. So this is, so we have to just, when we, we, we can just, Check with somebody if we, we have some assumptions. Just koi bhai, bhai rakhya, check kari levan. And what is always do your best. Jim Begdola says now we pass through four 
we pass through four uh, phases in in human life, and humans have shifted from hunting to hunting to farming. And then about 300 years ago, there was mass movement of people from farm to factories. And third wave was knowledge and information exclusion. And fourth wave was the communication and revolution, communication revolution. And we had, <clears throat> because this communication, we, we used computers and everything was at our doorstep within seconds. But he says the fifth wave now turns us inward from external back to internal. And very famous um, William James, one of the founders of modern psychology, says the greatest revolution of my generation is the discovery that individuals can change the outer aspect of their lives by changing the inner attitudes of their minds. And we'll see one more. Churchill said in 1943, in one law college, that empires of the future are the empires of the mind. So <clears throat> the shift is eternal. Then where is the burden? The burden is on human hardware and that human hardware is our mind, our brain. So we have to examine and upgrade both the hardware brain and the nervous system and software that is the our thought process. We should check with this and we have to increase this in our life. Because mind is a living check, we have said. And human resource is power. Knowledge is power. Mind matters. And changing self-awareness is very important. And uh, uh, one uh, very famous scientist, Dr. Fred Travis, he interviewed about 100 peak performers, like the billionaires, the icons, and uh, athletes. And he said that in these peak performers, the integrated brain functioning is the key because all these big performers had very coherent brain functioning. And these top performing brains have more coherent, various parts of the brain, each of which has different responsibilities are collaborating with each other. And then very, the sec next question arises, how can we do that? How can we do that? And we have knowledge from our, our ancient literatures. And this Patanjali Yoga Sutra, first chapter, Patanjali says, which are the obstacles which distract our mind 
disease, fatigue, doubt, carelessness, laziness, attachment, confused understanding, failure to achieve samadhi, and failure to maintain samadhi. Samadhi is to, this samadhi we have to understand is just the goal. Now let's let's talk first fatigue. What is fatigue? Fatigue is, or fatigue comes from disease. All these aspects come from disease. And disease, we can say in Ayurveda, Shushut, he gave wonderful definition of a healthy man. He says, Samadosha, Samagnishcha, Samadhatu, Malakriya. This is the first aspect, samadosha, tridosh, in balance, agni, appetite in balance, dhatu, seven dhatu should be in balance, malakriya, without elimination, no kayam chul. But second aspect is very important and that is the basis of the first aspect. Second aspect, Mahashi Shushut says, Prasannatmendriya Manaha. He talked about three aspects. Prasanna, that is the happy. And these three aspects, as, Prasannatma, Atma, Mana, Senses. When these three are in pleasantness, then we are, then everything, what was said in the first part, will be everything okay and then this the person is a healthy person so without this prasannatma it is not going to happen and uh, there is one uh, other book written by one scientist uh, keith wallace brain coaching And brain coaching is to create new habits. And he says that number one recommendation is to incorporate the powerful super habit of meditation, quiet mind, quiet time. That, that should be the super habit and it should be number one. And when Dr. Travis interviewed about 100 icons and others. He, it is his uh, research that 80% of these top, top peak performers, they do meditation, some kind of meditation. He interviewed people from all over the world, US, European countries, China, India, everywhere and it is his research. Now, from this we go to the second aspect of this discussion that is coming, that is Vedic science comes. So Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita chapter uh, two, Verse 48. He says, Yogastha Kuru Karmani, Sangam Tyaktva Dhananjaya, Siddhya Asiddhyo Samo Bhutva, Samatvam Yoga Uchyate. Here, this verse has three parts. First, he tells Arjuna that Yogastha Kuru Karmani, establish in yoga and then perform action. This is first part. We should be, we would be wondering why at the battlefield somebody says oh, yoga, but he doesn't mean that yoga. And in the very end of this verse, Krishna says, Samatvam Yoga Uchate. That is balance, Samata. That is yoga. But balance of what? Balance of mind, body, 
activities or outer outer field or environment if you if you can do this then what happens the result would be siddhya or siddhyo samabhutva when you have siddhi success you are you will not be overjoyed and when you have failure you will not be sorrowful so this is this definition of yoga shri krishna gave and that is bhava and he gave word bhava tit bhav se atit ho jana and the english translation is transcendental to transcend is to go beyond and on this there are so many scientific research and i would go with with some dr tony nader he did research on ved in our physiology and he found out that this patanjali yoga sutra there are 195 yoga sutras and all yoga sutras in different uh, four chapters they are in our brain each yoga sutra correspond to one of the cortical folds giri and where where is the location he has given and from this uh, and this is dr tony nader and he says it is now significant feature of this scientific age that this complete knowledge is now open to scientific confirmation to the most recent discoveries of the structure and function of the human body including human anatomy physiology the dna in every cell and every cell in the body way then vedic literature is reflected in the human physiology the exact correspondence between the structure and function of the human physiology and structure of ved shows that ved is the blueprint of the creation the human physiology has its basis in ved which is nitya that is eternal apurusha that is uncreated self created or self generated each individual has cosmic status and each individual is an embodiment of natural law natural law means what natural law is nothing but what we say paramatma so we are embodiment of <clears throat> now we go to the <clears throat> what maharshi says and that is very important and and this people got the it is very amazing that even though all of us have been thinking right from the beginning of our life but rarely we have thought where was the thought before we thought it nobody bothers to know the origin of thought how thought starts and how it develops and appreciate it to be a thought thought starts from the depth of consciousness as an air bubble starts from the bottom of lake this air bubble becomes bigger and bigger and coming on the surface it explodes and appreciated as bubble like that thought starts from the deepest level of consciousness and as it comes up it becomes bigger and bigger and when coming up on conscious thinking level it is appreciated as thought in one international conference on how to make vedic india in 2015 one very well known uh, uh, physicist dr john hagelin 
he presented and he compared or it and equated what is what physics says and what is the uh, ancient Ved knowledge says. He says modern science over the last 50 years has revealed that our physical universe is structured in layers of creation. Dr. Hagelin illustrates that at the fourth and deepest layer, unified field theories or superstring theories reveal the fundamental unity of life. They show that at the basis of diverse universe is a single universal field of intelligence. The fountainhead of all the laws of nature and the source of all orders displayed throughout the universe. And then he equates with meditation. How does this relate to meditation? The human mind, human consciousness is structured in layers parallel to the structure of universe, which means there is surface level of mind, active thinking, choppy, chaotic mind. But deep within there are quieter and quieter levels of mind, more silent, more powerful levels of the thinking process. So, and Marx defined the definition of uh, uh, Vedic science because he says all knowledge, this is very ancient knowledge, but it should be put on scientific validation. And he says each science has two aspects, theory and practical. Theory aspect, we have the knowledge of Ved and Vedic literature. And Practical aspect is nothing but what we do, quieter mind, some people call it meditation. And it is quieter mind, just we have to relax. And this is one, one aspect, but he went in all aspects. For healthcare, Ayurveda, Nadi Vigyan is practical, pulsary, pulse diagnosis. Then in Thapatya Ved, Vastu, and all of our ancient knowledge, he, 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 he made scientifically validated. And then he says, this is scientific, this is Vedic science. Because it's a combination of Ved and science, because he put on science, scientific research. The meditation he brought before the world. He started teaching in, I think, in 1960, 1965. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir, we uh, meditation we meditate every day. We will go later. Yes, sir. Hmm? ओके सर बस हम वही उसके ऊपर ही आ रहे सो ही ही पुट ओवर अबाउट 600 साइंटिफिक रिसर्च हैव बीन मेड बाय अबाउट 200 मोर देन 200 रिसर्च इंस्टिट्यूट्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड दिस इस तरह की सर Transcendental meditation he brought before the world is a very simple, natural, effortless, innocent method, he says, where the conscious mind, our choppy mind, goes deep within the thinking process. And the, that thinking process is the source of thought. And that source of thought is a reservoir of energy and intelligence, creativity, awareness. We, we can call it unboundedness. 
and after that one feels so charming because what is the nature of mind nature of mind is always to go to higher presentness if we are just traveling somewhere or just waiting at the airport and we have our headphone and we are listening music but if we our headphone is off and some our neighbor is playing some music and we love that so we just stop our music and start listening to his music because our mind always wants to go to a more charming place and so mind also when goes deeper it's a charming place for mind because the mind feels so quietness is so deep silence inside and we have many scientific research on it and we'll go with all the scientific research uh, <clears throat> this whenever we meditate meditation takes the field of energy within our cells and bring out an enhancement of our life we are always progressing and we take the source of intelligence daily and we are intelligent we take the source of energy and daily we are more energetic we take the source of creativity and daily we are more creative and how this how this happens if you see the chart our this is our acting mind and when we have some kind of word or anything and when we start uh, thinking that word or sound then slowly that sound or word gets subtle more subtle more subtle more subtle and subtlest and then it reaches the source of thought and there here we have no word no thought that is transcend because we say in the definition of transcendental it says go beyond bhavati bhavati ati thaijam so there were our active mind which is the source of thought and that area as i said before is most peaceful level of the mind it is more creative it has it said it's an energy and when we come out this way we are going in but when we are could be coming out to this to this thought thought level then what happens our deep rooted stasis and stains are eliminated and our nervous system nervous system is what is called cheta tantra our nervous system becomes clean pure and this purity in nervous system brings uh, awareness expands awareness and we have more clarity in our thoughts more energy we have and our we get success wherever whatever we do <clears throat> so let's now see what are the benefits the scientific research uh, have shown that when somebody is meditating and increased eeg coherence in the brain it increases the presence of alpha 1 that is the key alpha 1 brings the brain coherence 
increased blood flow in the brain to the brain and depressed decreased the stress hormone and faster recovery from stress increased of increased efficiency of information transfer in the brain this is very important for the students and who, those who are engaged in the teaching profession optimization of brain functioning leads to enhanced creativity improvement in memory and increase in intelligence broader comprehension we can comprehend things nicely we don't have short or a biased opinion increased efficiency of perception that is very important we can we can uh, adopt things nicer way improve memory creativity and intelligence improve verbal and analytical and holistic thinking increase the self development self confidence and self actualization and beneficial to remove adhd this is a pandemic all over the world in the young children adhd attention deficit hyperactivity disorder when kid student is in the class and when student is in the class and we are think teacher is thinking he is here he is he is, he is listening what i say but in reality he is not he is, he is somewhere else because his attention is and then what happens he becomes hyper he does not grasp the knowledge so this adhd by doing meditation adhd is taken care of and kids are more creative and there are health benefits also health benefits benefits like our blood pressure remains normal cholesterol becomes normal blood sugar becomes normal uh, we have longevity longevity means if you are 45 but you look 40 that is everybody would like to do and habit of smoking or alcohol dropped gradually because you start thinking what is good and what is not good discrimination part vivek comes in but why this happens what is the reason then he such says during the meditation the metabolic rate is reduced by about 16% in a matter of minutes while during the sleep metabolic rates reduce only by 12% over a period of many hours because of this body gains a unique state of deep rest which is more than sleep this unique rest dissolves accumulated and deep rooted stress and fatigue at the same time brain functioning becomes more orderly and integrated as a result body becomes stress and anxiety free more healthier and more integrated this leads to mistake free happy healthy blissful life and optimum efficiency and success so this is this this happens because of this and scientific research shows that there is there is more mobilization of the latent reserves of the brain this study by dr nikolai director of director moscow brain research institute indicated that during the meditation there is an increase in the areas of the cortex taking part in perception of specific information and an increase in the functional relationship between the two hemispheres hemispheres you know it's it's a study it's a study, a study that 
we just use 15 to 20, 25% of our brain capacity in our life. So, uh, but if some, sometimes if our car does not have good mileage, I mean the average, then what we do? We just take him to the mechanic shop and get it all right. So if we have this, if we are using just 15, 20% of our mental capacity, or brain capacity, we should do something. And higher levels of EEG coherence measured during this meditation practice are significantly correlated with increased fluency of verbal creativity, increased efficiency in learning new concepts. That is very important. We have to have very efficiency in learning new concepts. We should have higher verbal IQ and decrease neurotism, higher academic achievement. So these are the benefits. Now, uh, in this international conference to re-establish Ideal Vedic India, New Delhi in 2015, Dr. John Hagelin, the physicist, he, he did research and found out the common unified field, that is Paramatma. And he presented this verse from Upanishad, Shivam Shantam Advaitam Chaturtham Manyante Sa Atma Sa Vigyayasa. And what he says, Shivam, Shanta, Shiva is quiet, eternal silence, blissful, uh, Shivam, Shantam, Advaitam, undivided, Chaturtham, Manyante, Manva, Maaveche, Ke Chaturthache, believed to be fourth, Sa Vigyaya, Sa Atma, Sa Vigyaya, that is Atma, that is to be known. What is fourth then? Very important to know what is fourth because he is a scientist. He brought it up. He said this fourth is fourth state of consciousness because we have three states of con three consciousness. We all experience every day, waking, dreaming, sleeping. That, and then this is fourth. And that is Shiva quality of life. And because he he got this, he got this clue from more scientific research done by Dr. Nader, I talked before. And Dr. Nader did research in his book on human physiology. He says our brain is like CEO. He, he equated our brain with Shiva Linga form. And this is of Shiva Linga, Shiva Linga and the brain shape. And he says brain controls the total activity of the physiology. When the brain is functioning in perfect balance, your transcendence is experienced. During the meditation, an individual experiences infinite peace and silence within himself. That is like Shiva. As Dr. Hagelin said in the conference, the brain is, as a whole is the instrument of experience of pure consciousness. As such, the brain represents Shiva in his Shiva Lingam form. The figure shows a ventral view of the brain, which has the same shape as a Shiva Lingam. That is what he, that is what he did research on. And Maharshi is equating with uh, least excited state of quantum physics. He says, what is least excited state? That is, we, call, we can call it ground state also in quantum physics. It has a zero activity, zero entropy maximum stability, perfect orderliness. That is the characteristic of 
ground state or least excited state. If we put gold in liquid form, and from that liquid form, we can make many things like bangles, uh, necklace, uh, earrings, everything. The same way, least excited state is zero activity, but in all the excited state, there is some least excited state. Jem Narsi Mehtai Kayu Ke Nama Rupa Jujiva Anteto Hemanu Hemahoi. The same principle. So this is what Maharshi equated. And I would tell one more story. How when we think in a nice way what happens and when we think negative what happens. I speak in Gujarati because this is the story of around Bhavnagar. If somebody has read Kalapino Ke Karan, am I Kavya Che? Ane am I Kvat Che? Raja Kalapi, Sur Singhji, Takta Singhji, Goyal, I think in Nam. A Ghoda Par Nikala Che? Sabar Ma Kvat Ma, Uge Che, Surki, Bhari, Ravindu, Hemantano Purva Ma, Guru Che, Naba Swachya Swachya Disati, Eke Nathi Vadali. Ane Kachi Khetar Ma Shedi Na Paak Che? Kheerud Dampati Kaam Kare Che, Chokrao Juve Che? And the Pachi Keche Ketia Dura Dura Urti Nadere Tadeche, Neashwa Uparatadi Narkoyave. Tiato Avi Poncho, Ashwa Shati, Vantia, and the Rajache and the Besades, Rajakachi Mani Lagiche, Mujane Trusad, Chalabari, they two money premti. Okay, with them Patiki, Patniche, Ejaiche, Data Dati, Chedi Capeche, called Luto Barajach, Raja Apeche, Raja Piveche. And it was a little bit of 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 a Drasahina dhara thai chhe, daya hina thai on rupa. Nahi to na bolje avu, boli mata radi padi. Lekhe drasahina dhara thai chhe. Kyunke raja na manma ke khada vichar avu chhe. To raja ke chhe haat saachi vaat chhe. Mane khada vichar avu. Ke, mu tax bau ucho la ucho, alo ko to bau saras paak banave chhe, saru kamata se. Raja ne ucho aave chhe. My tax was not So his negative thought went into it. But the positivity of that woman, she found out this is what it is. Well, <coughs> How we can increase our potentiality. We have to go within. Uh, uh, last month we had one very good discussion with uh, one congressman from Connecticut. He was a chief guest at our graduation, our convocation ceremony. And uh, he learned meditation. And then he wanted to talk to the whole faculties of our university and we got connected with him. And he, he told us very wonder, very good thing. He said in 20th century, I mean, last century we went in the moon, we went outward. But 
now it's time to go inward we have to go inward now and inward is a key for everything and he is he told one more thing that congressman is just like the members of parliament and he said they are the lawmakers if they meditate if they have clarity in their thoughts in their presentations then they will bring clear wonderful laws for the people and we'll listen to small videos one of uh, doc mr david lynch he is a famous film film producer of uh, us and he learned meditation from maharishi 45 years ago and now he is the is in the business i would say to teach meditation to the students in schools and in prisons and he says when well, if somebody goes in the prison when he comes out he should not go in the jail again so he it is he has his own foundation for david lynch foundation so we listen to his tape and march his tape uh, for it's just for two minutes each then we will have better idea Here is the picture of Dr. Pat Travis. He is doing easy co easy um, measuring measuring of uh, brain waves of the people who are meditating. Uh, this is the this is the slide of people. I mean, kids meditating in schools of USA. Uh, that is what David Lynch has done. wonderful work so uh thank you sir uh thank you very much ha huh. for such a nice day sir uh, uh and uh, i am really surprised that uh, a large number of students took participation in this webinar and um, it became uh, a grand success because Uh, still, uh, number of students are there who are there with us, and uh, I am definitely sure enough that uh, uh, this webinar is going to enlighten uh, our students in their. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. If uh, anybody is having any. Uh, yeah. To, yeah. So that will be useful. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah, we are. We are sir, about. 